Welcome back to Boss on the Streets with me in Kafu on Green Red Yellow Hop. There's a lot that is trending on social media in Cameroon, so let's get on to it. First popular Cameroonian TV presenter, Dali Lyonga, has taken to social media to drag Cameroonian UK based influencer, Delhi Singer, describing her as the Adolf Hitler of the social media space in Cameroon. So, what happened? Why? Well, Dali Lyonga, who works for Dash Media, was responding to a live video that Deli Singer made earlier on. In that live video, Deli Singer said she considers the fact that Kosi introduced Cameroonian stars to white money and the other things that he has been doing in Nigeria as disrespectful and belittling. So Deli Singer said Kosi has been belittling himself in front of Nigerians, uh, begging for attention and all that. So Dali Lyonga in response to this said she thinks that at the level of hypocrisy that Delhi singer displays on the social media space is sickening and why does Delhi singer think that she owns cameroon so this is what she said Delhi singer is literally becoming adolf hitler according to her her vexation is that kosi is now dressing and singing like nigerians According to her, Kosi is belittling himself before Nigerians. Isn't this laughable? Coming from someone who speaks British English, wears winter jackets, long boots, and hand gloves during winter. Why not wear kaba and togo? You dress seem like the British, even enrolled in their universities, eat their food, and probably date their men, yet you accuse another of sin. Who made Delhi a judge over others? whatever made her feel she's more superior to others and as such she has the right to dictate how others should live their lives and spend their money would not really get hard for this outside daily singer whoever made you a business curator or an entertainment stakeholder what makes you think your opinion matters as far as entertainment is concerned thought you are a relationship coach or you turn switch what meaningful contributions have you brought into our uh, entertainment industry if not to put us Cameroonians at loggerheads against nigerians same nigerians you desperately wish they promote you evidence day pararan mock news i remember when i had issues on this space you mounted your camera and gave your two cents Yes, mine. Normally, I stay on my lane and mind my business. Most of my write-ups are my guest words on my show, though most often the public thinks it's mine. Now, this is mine. This Delhi be feeling way too superior and acting like Queen Solomon. Show me a Cameroonian artist you have promoted where you did run your mob. That in life really vexed me. In fact, I will go live at 2 p.m. today. Text texting isn't enough. To express myself daily singer allow your people breathe and live their lives god will give us lives to give us choice to either serve him or not so who be you of asabi that's what uh, Dali younger said but you know daily singer hardly responds to people when they call her out but you know there's sure one person who always respond whenever Delhi singer is mentioned you know there's always one person who say Delhi singer is a no-go area you know who that person is Delhi singer na a no-go area you want to disrespect Delhi singer this is not some one thing for this industry way i will never ever take it better it destroy it spoils sagat sagat mm-hmm O Pancho CY International is he going to come and respond to Dali Lyonga because we know O Pancho and and uh, Delhi Singer are literally social media besties. Well, let's wait and see what happens. Now let's talk about Mark Brees who has uh, officially signed his contract as a coach of the Indomitable Lion. So he recently arrived the country. And that contract was signed between him and uh, the Ministry of Sports. That was on monday well uh they have signed a two and a half years contract and the expectations are that uh, mark bridge is going to qualify cameroon for the next world cup that's the 2026 world cup and then he's going to qualify cameroon for the afcon 2025 in morocco and also ensure that cameroon performs well in that competition and of course restore the lost glory of the indomitable lounge and 
well is it going to be up to the tax someone who was notably absent from that uh, installation and sign of contract ceremony was the president of fekafu samuel eto so his seat was vacant he was not there and uh, where samuel eto responded to an invitation that was sent to him by the ministry of sports in that response samuel eto said well i acknowledge your invitation yeah, i've received your invitation but this came in at a very short notice this came in late i'm preparing for my father's burial so he was not there but of course we know that the uh, feka food and the ministry of sports they are currently at loggerhead with the appointment of this new coach you know recently in an emergency committee meeting of feka food feka food said they are going to propose their own list of the of of a coach and other assistant the management team of the indomitable lounge and they they had given 72 hours for that to be done so today's the latest date so we're waiting are they going to come up with another list of and say this the coach that we want this are the this are this is a technical team of the indomitable lounge we're waiting for that but uh what is important right now is that mark Brees has been installed and Camonians are like um has he been informed you know in this country we don't have any room for any mediocrity at all is either the best or nothing these five times afghan champions this is one of the most uh, renowned countries in africa when it comes to football is Mark mag breeze ready for the tax because mag breeze has been saying that oh he's happy to be here the selection process was all good and all but camonians fans are like hey mr mag breeze it's not going to be all rosy rosy here you better be prepared to face cameroonians and you should know what you have got ahead of you victory or nothingness now let's take it to nigeria to talk about this nollywood actress who has died and then funke akindele is being dragged because of that so nigerian actress ade jumoke aderon mu died uh, recently after an illness of course she would start in the series jennifer diary and that's why jennifer or rather funke akindele known as jennifer the owner of that series jennifer dowry is being dragged by the brother of this actress according to the brother when this actress was sick they reached out to jennifer or funka akindele but funka akindele did not respond and uh, she made efforts to reach out to the to, to funka akindele funka akindele did not respond so funka akindele after this actress passed away she came online and then she respond she she put up a message saying uh this was i mean as well rest in peace he was heartbroken and all that but her brother the brother of the actress said why are you pretending why are you being a hypocrite why are you responding now why are you doing this when my when my son was alive you did not respond despite the efforts to get to you but you know other people who have also starred in the jennifer diary uh, series like uh, adaku and sam they've come on to defend Gen uh, funka akindele saying that the brother of the actress sh should not say what he does not know because funka akindele made effort to reach out to the actress when she was see alive so this actress is dead she died uh at the age of 40 and may her soul rest in peace <laughs>